Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ResinNet. Today I have something planned for Easter, and these are just some little Easter rabbit molds that I bought from Timu probably a couple of months ago. And to be honest, I kind of forgot that I had them. Get these done so that um, you can see them in time for Easter. And what I've done is I've made up eight ounces of Jade Diction regular pour resin. I've got a few micro bubbles in there and they're still kind of floating up to the top. My resin is nice and warm. However, my room is about 66 degrees or so. It's a little cool. So um, I may need to just give that a little extra time. These molds, as you can see, super stretchy, which makes them wonderful to demold. But you can see that they're not, they're not a shiny mold. Okay. They look like they're going to be fairly matte with maybe just low, a low shine is what I'm guessing. Um, so even if I do end up with a few bubbles, it's probably not going to really matter. I don't know that it's going to show up. I've chosen some, uh, these are Pixis alcohol inks. I've got bubblegum, bubblegum pink, this lemon yellow, and this sapphire blue. The sapphire blue, Actually, it's probably going to be a bit darker than I want. I'm going to change it to this sky blue, okay? And these should give me some nice, like, pastel, uh, kind of more Eastery colors. I'm going to shake them up a bit. I haven't used these for a little bit. Okay. So those. So now what I'm going to do is what I, I don't know. These are... These are about the same size, but they're kind of different shapes. So I think they're going to take different uh, amounts of resin. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pour my resin into this mold. I'm going to go ahead and pour it all the way to the top without going over, so mostly to the top. Some bubbles coming out of there, probably coming down out of the head and the ears. I'm not really concerned with the bubbles right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this and pour it into one of these little paper cups. Big bubbles and all. And see that took, this rabbit took um, almost two ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in this cup. And if there's some lingering inside the mold, that's just fine. This is just going to be to give it some color. So there that is. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick spray of alcohol. A couple sprays, I guess. And so for this bigger one, I think I'm going to have him be the, maybe the light blue. And I think just maybe start with two drops. And we'll see what that does. I think that's just about the color I want. The shade of blue. As you can see, it's kind of a swimming pool blue. Or um, almost a robin egg without the hint of green on it. But that's the color I want. There's bubbles in there. Um, but I figured I'd get bubbles because the sides of this mold are not flush. They are all kinds of little intricate patterns in there. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that. I'm going to go ahead and give a couple sprays inside of my mold because I've got to get way down here into these ears and the little arms and should be just fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Like I said, bubbles and all, really don't care too much about that. Sometimes when you've got a textured mold, it just kind of adds to the texture. I do want to make sure that it's getting down into all these little nooks and crannies that are down in there. And you can tell if you're getting big bubbles coming out up to the top, then you know that you've got air pockets in there. But um, I don't see anything like that. So I like to give it a good squeeze and then you know, squeeze the sides and then slowly let it up. 
And what that does is it kind of just suctions that resin into those areas before I continue to pour. Now this is just kind of a quick and easy way to, if you want to add color, you want to mix up one thing of resin, but you don't want to have to wait to measure it all out, you know, to add different colors. You can do that. Just pour it into your mold. I'm going to add just a little bit here to go ahead and top it off because I didn't do a top off when we started. And now this is not deep pour resin but I know J Diction resin pretty well and I know that I can pour a pretty good amount um, without getting a flash cure. But like I said, my room is cool and I usually, if I'm worried about it, I will set it in front of, um, I call it a cooling fan, but in reality, it is my kind of a heavy duty air purifier that I have here in my studio. And so when I have it on high, the air that blows out from that air purifier is actually quite strong. So it blows out cool air and I just make sure that it's aimed at my curing rack and um, yeah, takes care of any little um, concern I might have. But if you're not using J-Diction and you're using your favorite resin, then just make sure that you know what your directions say. And because this mold is really squishy and floppy which is great to demold but it does make it kind of a pain when you're going to move it so make sure you're always taking it from the base don't squeeze it because it's resin's going to go everywhere okay i'm going to move this over i'm going to let that one go ahead and get ready to cure and now i'm going to do the same thing with this one I'll go ahead and pour it Again, I'm not going to top it off all the way. And that took another about two ounces. See a bubble down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it back in my cup. And again, it's okay that my resin is kind of, some of the clear resin is staying in there to kind of coat the sides. I don't mind that at all. Okay, set that one there. Just give it a quick wipe off the top. Okay, so now I think I'll do that one. It's going to be in pink and we'll do the same thing. We will do two drops. One, two. And that gave it just a really nice, really pale pink. Okay, lots of bubbles in there. Don't really care, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it one quick spray, a couple of sprays in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. Actually, I think I've got a little bit of resin still in there, I can see squeeze it out that's kind of still down in there from the ears there we go so i'm going to pour it slowly i can see the little crevices down in there where it needs to get into and give it a quick squeeze down here in these little ears Okay, I can see a big bubble coming up out of there. And then again, I'm gonna give it a good squeeze on both sides and I'm just gonna gently let it out so that it kind of suctions into the bottom part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to fill this up. So I've got a, just a little bit to go to get it to the completely topped off. There is this pink one and I'm going to go ahead and set it aside with the blue one. 
Okay, so now here is this last one. And this one is going to be yellow. I don't really want to blend any of these colors, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a new cup. Scoots it all down out of there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little more since the last time we've been a, just a little bit short on those other two. And so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do two drops of yellow. May need a third drop for this, but we'll see. Again, give it a quick spray. Do a couple of sprays in here. Now this one I can see down in there, it's got some really narrow openings down there at the very bottom. So I'm not going to go all the way to the top again. Give it some good squishes. And see the bubbles coming out of there. Some big bubbles. Squeeze those ears. And then I'm going to squeeze them all at once. And then I'm going to slowly release it to make sure that those areas get filled up. Bubbles and all. Give it, I'm gonna give that one another quick spray. Two. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and fill this to the top. And adding that little bit of extra resin was just enough to get that filled. And when these are done, we will unmold them. I'm so excited to see them. All right, you guys, I will see you then. You know, I was thinking, gosh, what am I going to do? I've got just the tiniest little bit of resin left over. And I thought, why not go ahead and do another one of these little brooch molds? Um, couldn't hurt, right? I'm just going to go ahead and put a bit of yellow here in the center. And on the edges, I'm just basically trying to do about a drop in each one of these petals. I think I've got just about enough to do that. Let's take a little bit of this pink. There's not very much left of it. Whoops. Not very much left of this pink. Now I've still got this little bit of blue, so I think I might just go ahead and see if we can just kind of top it off with the blue and see what colors will get picked up out of that. But you know, that was not very much resin that I had left. This really does not take very much. I really like this mold. It's about, gosh, around uh, $19.99, I believe. But you have, there is a 20% off coupon that I will include in the description with the link if anybody's interested in this mold. I know a lot of you have already have it but um, or have ordered it. So we will demold this when we demold our bunnies. And I will see you then. All right, everybody. I am back. And I'm so excited to get these out of here and see how they turned out. Um, I think the colors are looking very Easter-y and spring-like. So, yeah, let's take them out of here and see what we think about these molds. These came from Timu. And again, there's these super stretchy, flexible molds that you really don't need anything to help get them out. And oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so here is this little bunny resting on an Easter egg. And oh my gosh, this is just too adorable. And I can see coming in and maybe taking a marker or something and coloring in some of these areas. Okay, so I don't, you know, these, if you've ordered from Timu, you'll understand that th sometimes you order, if you're like me, you order a lot of molds and different things. Well, if you order them all at once and they come in and then you're taking the molds out of your out of your Tamu packaging, 
you'll notice that a lot of them are not even labeled what they are. So I knew I bought three rabbits, but I didn't, I didn't, it didn't tell me that this was probably the boy rabbit on here. But anyway, it's really cute. I'm happy with that. And the color for me for what I was going for was perfect. And that was with just two drops of the Pixis alcohol ink. And I'm sure you could use the Let's Resin alcohol ink too and get the same effect. Now here is the little girl and you can see that she's got a little dress on and she's also leaning on that egg. And these are just both so cute. And I don't mind that this mold is not glossy. I actually kind of, um, I kind of like the, the molds like this when you're using, you know, still kind of a translucent resin. So yeah, super cute together. Now I forget what this one looks like. Get this one out. Let's scoot this aside for a second. It is just so nice that these come out so easily. This could have certainly been a pain the way these are shaped if this would have been a regular mold that isn't stretchy. These you can just kind of stretch them and bend them and then they just turn out great. Okay, so here's this little guy and he is sitting on top of his Easter egg. And oh my goodness, look at these together. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of some coloring on these. Here are my Molotow pins. These are my favorite silver. See how these Easter eggs have a pattern down here? Is that showing up? Let me see. Yeah, you can see like the maybe the little flower design. And that is what I'm going for. And I'm going to try to remember to readjust my focus when I do stuff like that now. Let's see, we're just going to kind of go through here and do these flowers. Let's see here. Now these Molotow pins are some of my favorite ones and they're actually made for doing uh, model work, okay? So like if you're gonna do chrome on a, um, on a car model or something or an airplane, this is what these are made for. So they're super like shiny chrome. I love, love how this is turning out so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other bunnies with the same thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and decide what we'll do for their little outfits if we wanna change those at all. And I'm sure that I will go ahead and just continue to speed up the film for this part of it. I'm gonna use Sharpies and just color in their eyes really quick. Give them a little bit more personality. Okay, you guys, see, I'm really loving how these are turning out. I am gonna let these continue to just let the, um, let the chrome dry all the way and the little eyes and then I'll come back and we will do the next step. All right, I will see you then. Okay, everybody, I am back and these guys are all nice and dry. Um, this chrome marker that I used is all dry. So, and so are their little eyes. So what I'm gonna do now is I've decided that they're cute, I could just leave them like this and they're just so cute just really adorable very spring like and um but what i've decided to do is i am going to take just a white marker and i'm going to come in and just do their clothes all in white just to kind of give it a little bit more color but they'll all kind of match in their clothes so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm just using a craft smart white paint marker pen okay i think it came from Hobby Lobby, but it's already shaken up pretty well. I got it going and I'll probably put you on uh, speed up, of course, on this. You're not going to want to watch all this. I'm just going to go through here where you can see like the little knitted lines. 
I'm just going to um, kind of do straight down marks with that and shouldn't take me very long. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. As you can see here, it covers actually pretty well. So, yeah. Here is this little girl bunny with her white, her little bit of a white dress. It just kind of brings out a little bit more character, I think. And I just wanted to keep them simple. I didn't want to take away from the pastel color. That's why I chose just to go ahead and keep the little knitted clothes white. I'm not going to do any more color on the egg. I really like the translucent shades of these little rabbits. Um, here is the back, and that's probably all I'm going to do for that dress. I might have to come back, do another coat, but for right now, I just kind of wanted it light and subtle, and it does bring in a really good knitted look. Okay, so I'm going to go on and keep going to the next little bunny. All right, so here they are pretty much done. You can see the little white clothes um, with the white paint marker is just really subtle. It's not, you know, really a bright white. It's just really light. But I just think they, they turned out so cute. What do you guys think about these? They're just so easy and you could just do so many different things with them. One thing I might do is I did just use the Sharpie on their eyes and they turned out fine. Um, but I might go in and just take one little drop of UV resin and just put it on each of their little eyes just to give it a little bit of a shine. But gosh, I just think they turned out super cute. What do you guys think? I'm sorry that this is getting posted, gosh, not that long before Easter. So um, I did get these from Tamu, so you would have time to get them for next Easter. But I'll also look and see if they're available on Amazon, because if they are, those are usually pretty quick. And gosh, you could have those ready for Easter. I almost forgot that we have this to unmold. This is our little um, flower brooch from Into Resin. And I'm super excited to see how this turned out. We just used the leftovers of tiny little bits of those three colors in this. So it should be very pastel. And oh gosh, I can already tell it just looks so pretty. Look at that. I just can't get enough of these, you guys. Let me turn my light back over this direction a little bit more. And I help get a close-up here. But here's the back. Again, even the backs of these are so pretty. And then turn it over. There it is. Now, I see I do have a bubble right here in this corner of this little um, one of these petals here. And that's okay. Now you can kind of get a look at the colors. You see how the yellow kind of came through a bit. I really don't see any of the blue, but I definitely see the yellow and that pink. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this one, gosh, it's just so pretty and clear. But what I'm going to do really quickly is we are going to go ahead and just take one of these pins, because I didn't do that the last time. These, like I said, are super inexpensive. You could get some much nicer clasps. These are just these little, um, just those little C hooks, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just use just a little bit of some Let's Resin, UV resin. I'm really using more a little bit more UV resin um, with some things as I'm experimenting. And gosh, I'm having so much fun. And I'll tell you that I'm really enjoying the Let's Resin brand of that. So where did I see that bubble? It's right here. So that is going to be... Hmm, actually, you know what? That bubble doesn't show up the most if I put it on the side. So it's going to be off to one side. Gosh, it's just so pretty. And I'm going to put just a little bit here across the back. 
And these all go the same way and the clasp is going to be facing down. So I'm just going to be using this little rechargeable black light that I got from Timu to get this to cure on here. It's got these holes in it. So those are what I'm hoping to get on here enough to get it cured. I want it nice and straight. And I think it's not going to show up a whole lot on the other side, I'm hoping. But we'll get it on here and see. About two minutes or so is what we did. And now when we go ahead and turn it over, oh gosh, you guys. So look, I don't even see it. Can you, maybe it's my angle, but I can't even see it back there. I guess just barely, if you turn it, you see the reflection of the silver, but not really. And it's on there really tight. It's not going anywhere. This, uh, these little brooch pins came in a pack of like this, a pack of 30. And I got those in silver and then I also have them in gold and um, I really haven't done a whole lot with them yet. Let me know what you think. I will post a link to this mold and to the brooch pins um, backs to um, these and also to our really just cute little rabbit mold too if you are interested in making these. This was just so much fun really appreciate y'all. And um, I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope that you had fun with the Easter eggs. And these would be just cute up even just for springtime even. So thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope it inspires you and encourages you to try something new and just get creative. And I appreciate you. I will see you all next time.